good afternoon welcome back to Brutally honest podcast and this is a very special episode for today i've invited my friends to villa physio they are physiotherapists to talk what uh, chanue kuhusu some of the conditions they are dealing with so uh, doc yes maybe you introduce yourself uh, yes. tell us who you are and uh, maybe tell us a bit about what the, the, the uh, neuro physiotherapists do Yes, thank you for giving this chance. I'm okay. uh, Ray Yeke. I'm a neurophysiologist working at Villa Physio. Okay. So in neurophysio, I've been trained to deal with conditions majorly that are affecting the brain and the spinal cord. Okay. So all the conditions that are affecting the brain and the spinal cord and how to manage them. So that is the focus of neurophysio. That is your area of expertise. My area of specialization. Okay. Yes. Uh, swiftly, maybe you can tell us the uh, type of conditions. Yes. Yes. I like the brain. We have the brain injury. Okay. So this condition majorly, the brain is the control of everything in the body. Be it movement, be it balance, be it coordination, be it uh, working of the systems of the body. Okay. It is being controlled within the brain. So in case of any injury to the brain, we find that people are having problem with movement, problem with coordination, problem with balance, weakness as a result of a brain injury. Another one can be a spinal cord injury. Spinal cord injury can be as a result of maybe a rotary accident okay. or maybe as a result of fall. So as a result of this injury, accident. I mean, what about the sport guys? Yes, also the sport. Okay, and also affect the spine. Okay. Yes. So also with the spine, uh, if the spine normally communicates with the brain, we have what we call the sensory neurons and the motor neurons. Okay. So these are pathways that are running within the body, the rest of the body parts, sending this information to the spine, and the spine can take it back to the brain. The brain. So in okay. case of any cut to the spine, this information will not move to the brain. Hence, these people will have difficulty in performing some tasks like movement. Okay. Yes. So they come here, you rehabilitate them? Yes. So once uh, they are at the physio, okay. we normally do an assessment to them and quantifies and so that we can know the level of injury within the spine. We have different structures of the spine. So it also depends on the level of injury of this patient. Because at some point, you find that at the cervical region, around the neck, you will find that most only if it's a complete injury of the spine, the hands, the hands and the lower limbs normally get affected all the way. So giving a program to them is also different for those who are having injury below the level of the spine, like the lumbar injury, the lower part of the spine. Okay, so maybe yes. somebody has a relative or a friend, yes. maybe got into an accident, Yes. and they were affected, they can come in for a consultation? Yes, they can come in with a referral from the doctor. Okay. Then also we do our assessment and quantify the level of function of this patient. Then we can bring them into rehabilitation, bring them back into their normal function okay. through our treatment. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Mm. Uh, this type of, uh, you say neurophysiotherapy, yes. How does it help to in maintaining a condition? Yes, when you're in neuro, we are targeting these neurons within the brain. Okay. So, neuro, these are nerves that are aiding in movement. They normally respond with activities. We have what, what we call the principles of neuroplasticity. Most of the conditions that are affect, affecting the brain and the spine, they are targeting these neurons. We are targeting these neurons to regenerate back. So we have got different principles of neuroplasticity. Yeah, it is the now new medicine learning. class. <laughs> <laughs> it is the new learning of the body as a result of, of the injury. Okay. So in between those principles, there are several areas that we can touch. First okay. of all, using it or losing it. Using yeah. it or losing it. Using it or losing it. Yeah. So this one is the part of the body which is affected. Yes, so you find that someone is having a serious weakness as a result of maybe spine injury or okay. as a result of maybe stroke. So if some parts of the body are weak, you need to use it. Or if you don't use it, you need to lose it. So it is upon the patient to decide whether they want to improve on their condition or they want to lose their to parts lose, of the body. Yes, then there's another one. Use it. There's different ways of use it, improve it. Use it or lose it. Then another one is repetition. It should be more and more. Doing this like practice, practice, it is more of practice. Okay. More of practice. Okay. Then it also depends also on the age. Majorly young adults or the young ones, 
normally they respond a bit faster with this treatment compared, yes, to, compared to the older, older age. age. Older age. Okay. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so another maybe you can uh, before we move to the the, the machines, mm-hmm. maybe you can uh, tell us. Can you quote? Can you quote up uh, the price? Uh, not, not the price. Uh, period of recovery. So maybe for example, I've come in today. Yes. It's a condition. Yes. Is there a period you recommend the doctor yes. uh, for somebody to recover or get better? Yes. Yeah, there is a period, okay. but also it depends on the kind of treatment that we are giving to this patient. Okay. Yes, we have got what we call uh, international classification of function. Okay. So when giving a treatment to a neurological condition patient, you need to use that protocol. It is a guideline, international classification of function. It divides the body into the structure. Structure we are talking about the impairments these patients are presenting with. So we have got impairments, body structure impairments, like okay. weakness. Okay. These are the result of body structure impairment. So you need to address this weakness. Then another one, we have got participation restriction. So these are activities. Now this patient cannot do as a result of this injury, injury. or this condition that are having. But with the treatment, they should focus on how they can be doing these activities on their own. Okay. Then. Uh, uh, we have got another one, which is a participation restriction, like the outdoors activities that they should also do with the treatment that is ongoing on. So when I'm talking about the impairments, okay. it also determines uh, the level or the period that these patients will take through uh, in the treatment. But it's a bit different, it depends also with the patient. So once the impairments, if they there are minimal impairments, then the better the recovery and also the severity of the injury like the spine. If it is a complete, it might take time or it might fail to recover from okay. the complete injury. So it depends with the severity of this injury to the patient and the underlying causes of the injury, like uh, normal stroke, it is high blood pressure. So if everything is controlled well and treatment begins just immediately, then uh, the treatment, the outcome can be a little bit faster. Okay. Yes. Okay. So to maybe instill confidence in yes. somebody who is watching this, mm. uh, are, are, are there patients you have handled and they improved or got well? Yes, okay. I have many patients with uh, mostly stroke patients. Okay. Yes, and now they are a bit active, okay. even though they are still not fully back okay. into their full function. But they are still better. They can do some parts of their activities. Okay. Yes, as we are adding, giving more treatment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, machinery. Yes, machinery uh, for treatment. Yes, the machines we are using. We have what we call uh, super inductive system therapy. Okay. This are machine. It is the one which is only in Kenya. Yes, it is from Czech Republic. Okay. So this machine, it depends with the impairment. You have the only one in Kenya. Yes, it is the only one. Ah, in Kenya. Okay. Yes. So I've been working with different facilities in Nairobi, but uh, as now I'm at Villa Fizu, okay. so I was attracted with the kind of modalities, the treatment that they have invested in machine machines that they are using for this patient. So we have the protocol for inductive system. So if someone is presenting with pain, a neurological pain as a result of a neurological injury, this machine can be used to address or manage pain with this patient. Then also, if uh, this patient also is presenting, you know, normally stroke when they recover, it has got different stages of recovery at first. It is flying, there is no movement at all. Okay. Then uh, when the recovery is ongoing, we have got what we call spasticity. The joints become stiff. So this machine can be used to manage all those processes of recovery, like spasticity. So it can speed up the level of recovery. If it is spasticity, it can manage it by speeding this process a bit faster so that this patient can get up as quickly as possible. What is the frequency of, or how, how frequent should I come here? Uh, yes, for... Like in a first, week or a month? Yes, for the first, it depends on the condition of the patient also. Mm-hmm. Like a stroke at the first interval, mm-hmm. we are going to see what we call the phase principles. Intensity matters a lot and repetition matters a lot. So we have to engage this patient for at least four times or five times okay in a week okay. yes, frequent fast at acute stage okay 
after the diagnosis. Then maybe I space it out as, as time goes. Yes. So as the time goes, is when you can see if you can advance more or if you can reduce as per the progress of this patient. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank, okay. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Welcome. So maybe now you can go. They just show us one machine. Yes, I can take you. Take us through so one. That I can show you some of the protocols to indicate it for the patient who is are having a metallic implant within the body. So you have to assess thoroughly so that you don't uh, get some side effects from the machine to the patient. So you have to assess and uh, rule the, all the contraindications for this machine. Also, for those who are having cancers, you can't uh, use the modalities on them. The yeah, super inductive system. Yes, super inductive system. So I'm targeting the lower limbs, the right lower limbs. So I want to strengthen the reflexes and the reflexes of the ankle. So I'll come to the ankle. So those are those are for someone like are, the, uh, the lips are completely the done or yes those are for someone who the, the limbs are completely dead or yes not completely dead it's okay. having some strength but they are not full okay so i just want the limbs with some strength also the ankle So this one will go for only 13 minutes. Per session? Yes, no, now. Okay. Per session. Okay. This one will run this way for 13 minutes. Then you can also give some exercises for that outcome. Okay. So this is the intensity. So, how do you judge uh, which intensity to use? Yes, the patient. The feedback from the patient. Okay. Yes.